I did not think the Trezor Say 3 was going to become one of my favorite cold wallets, but it is. Not only is it easy to use, but there have been some major upgrades to the overall security of the Trezor Say 3 compared to Trezor's previous wallets like the Model 1 and the Model T. If you end up wanting the Safe 3, make sure to use our discount code CYBERSKRILLA, all caps, to get 8% off your entire order. I'll also leave a link in the description that leads you directly to the Safe 3 wallet. That way you know you're purchasing it directly from Trezor themselves. Let's start with the design. It all begins with the box. The Safe 3 comes packaged in a shrink-wrapped, fast food-like cardboard with a tearaway tab which ensure no one has opened the package. Inside the box you'll find the Trezor Safe 3 of course, the Get Started Guide, some cool stickers, a couple seed phrase sheets, and your USB-C cable, and the wallet itself has Trezor branded security tape on it that covers up the USB-C port. So what else is new about the Safe 3's design? Well, it comes in four fancy colors. You got solid gold, stellar silver, galactic rose, and cosmic black, which is the one that I have. The 0.96 inch OLED screen is the same screen that's found on the Trezor Model 1, so there's not much new there. It's uh, definitely on the smaller side, but it still gets the job done. The buttons on the Safe 3 were also moved closer together. That way they are right next to each other, which makes confirming transactions on the device super easy because you can do it using one finger now. And something else that's unique with all Trezor wallets actually is that they do not come with a battery. That way you don't have to worry about your battery failing. Instead you simply connect the wallet to your computer and it will power on that way. So not a ton has changed as far as the overall design of the Safe 3, but what about security? One of the greatest upgrades to the Safe 3 security is the addition of an EAL6 Plus Secure Element chip, which both the Model 1 and the Model T lack, and this chip provides protection against physical attacks. So if someone with special equipment got their hands on your wallet, this chip would make it much more difficult for them to extract your private keys. The Secure Element chip also protects your pin without learning it so that means it's impossible to extract your pin code from the device. There's also something that's unique about the secure element chip used in a Safe 3 compared to other wallets on the market that use a similar secure element chip. Most wallets that use an SE chip are not fully open source because they can't disclose certain information about the secure element because it's manufactured by a different company whereas Trezor remains completely open source both its software and hardware. Also Trezor has been audited by independent and security researchers and is verified by its track record considering Trezor has been around making cold wallets since 2014. Another security feature is the option to generate a passphrase also known as an extra word in your seed phrase or a hidden wallet. So the Safe 3 only allows you to generate a 12 word seed phrase when creating a new wallet. However, you can import a 24 word seed phrase if you have a 24 word seed phrase in another wallet, for example. But with the passphrase option, you don't really need a 24 word seed phrase because your own unique passphrase that is added to your 12 words is going to be even more secure. By using the passphrase, you're essentially adding your own word to the 12 word seed phrase the wallet already generates. And this word can be anything you want upper and lower case letters you can use numbers and symbols so it is completely unique and pretty much impossible to guess if you do use the passphrase option which i recommend you do for that added security it is basically like creating a completely new wallet it'll have its own private key and public address pairings so it's essential that you record your passphrase along with your seed phrase because you will not be able to access your wallet or your funds without your passphrase and your 12 word seed phrase now one of the greatest concerns with the Trezor Model 1, which also allows you to create a passphrase, is that you can't actually enter the passphrase on the device itself. You have to enter it on your desktop using Trezor Suite. But with the Safe 3, you get to choose where you enter your passphrase. You can choose to do it in Trezor Suite or on your device. Entering the passphrase on your device will take a while longer since there are only two buttons, but at least the letters, numbers, and symbols are separated into their own group to make the process a little quicker. Again, this is the most secure method. Another security feature that the Safe 3 offers that the Model 1 doesn't is Shamir Backup. This is an algorithm that splits your seed phrase into multiple shares, and then you are required to enter a number of those shares to recover your wallet. So instead of relying on just one seed phrase, you can have multiple seed phrases that are required to access your wallet. 
Now this next security feature isn't new, but it's definitely worth mentioning because it still applies to the Trezor Say 3, and that is the ability to use the Tor network when using Trezor Suite, which as you know, is Trezor's program for managing all of your crypto. By enabling the Tor network in Trezor Suite, you can hide your IP address and increase your anonymity. This ensures a more private experience while you're using your Trezor wallet. And just know that if you do enable the Tor network, it will take a little while longer for Trezor Suite to load just because the network is not as quick as using just your normal internet connection. But if you want to manage your crypto more privately, it's definitely worth the additional wait. Besides the security features, the Trezor Safe 3 is a really user-friendly wallet. In fact, if you're looking for an alternative to Ledger, I definitely recommend Trezor. The Safe 3 is truly a plug and play wallet, so it is great for beginners and crypto experts alike. It's really a good wallet for anyone and everyone. And the entire setup process is laid out step-by-step step in Trezor Suite, so you'll know exactly what to do every step of the way. To set up the Trezor Say 3, first you have to download the Trezor Suite app, which is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, or you can just use the web app. Then you just connect your Trezor Say 3 to your computer to begin the setup process. Once connected, you'll want to do a quick device security check. So basically confirm that the security tape was on the device when you first open the package and that the package was of course intact. Also, you'll need to allow Trezor Suite to authenticate your device is genuine by tapping allow on your wallet. This is a new feature only available on the Trezor Say 3 and that is thanks to that newly added secure element chip. Assuming everything looks good, tap set up my Trezor and install the latest firmware version, which only takes a minute or two. From there, you can choose to create a standard backup or Shamir backup. Again, 12 words is more than enough, especially if you are going to use the optional passphrase. Your seed phrase will then be displayed on the Trezor Save 3 in numerical order for you to write down and store in a safe place. To confirm you wrote it down correctly, Trezor will have you verify three of the 12 words in the correct order on the device. Next, you will need to set up your pin. Now, your pin is device specific, so you'll need it anytime you want to use your Trezor Safe 3 wallet. Your pin can be four to 50 digits, so when you create it, make sure it's secure enough that no one will be able to guess it, so don't use your birthday or social security or anything that can be found publicly. From there, you just choose which coins you want to manage. Again, this entire setup process is super simple, very straightforward. It took about five minutes for me to do. If you've never set up a cold wallet before, it'll probably take no more than 10 minutes. So all in all, the Trezor Say 3 is a very user-friendly wallet with some of the best security features that you could want from a cold wallet but is it affordable? Well, since the Say 3 is considered an entry level wallet, it only costs $79. And again, it's even cheaper if you use our discount code CyberSkrilla when you check out. But just because the Say 3 is affordable doesn't mean that it's not a reputable wallet. Remember, Trezor has been on the market since 2014, pumping out cold wallets, and they have maintained a solid brand reputation over the years. So whether you're considering upgrading from an old Trezor model or you're just looking for a new cold wallet altogether. $79 for the safe three is an easy choice in my opinion. And let's not forget about coin support. After all, if a wallet doesn't support the coins that you want to hold and manage, then it's probably not the wallet for you. The safe three supports more than 7,000 tokens, including all ERC 20 tokens. That said, some coins like XMR, XLM, and XTZ, for example, are supported by Trezor's firmware, but are not yet implemented in Trezor suite. For certain tokens like these ones that I mentioned, you have to use a third party hot wallet that is listed on Trezor's coin list, which I will leave in the description for you if you want to check out which coins and hot wallets the Trezor Save 3 supports. And just know when you connect your Trezor device to any of these third party hot wallets, your device isn't any less secure because the private key is still kept on the device and it is never shared externally. All a third party wallet does is allow you to manage your coins, but everything still needs to be verified using your Save 3 device. All that said, the Save 3 is easily one of my favorite cold wallets now just because it is so easy to use without sacrificing any security. So if this sounds like a wallet that you want, definitely check out the Save 3. Again, link is in the description. Otherwise, you can check out all the cold wallets that I've reviewed on our cold wallet review playlist right here and I'll see you next time.